All right, so as promised, I'm a little bit late, but I am recording and finally sharing with you the beautiful Hero Arena guide on the best way to clear it. Again, I am no whale per se, but I do want to make it clear that I can help you at least clear Masters and get that out of the way. Master is a pretty big division, regardless of what you have to again say. It is 300k. That is hard for a lot of players to hit. So today, I'll be doing a Masters four team. Now, it's a three team clear, but if you want to use a four team, you definitely could. Um, but it's three team clear. The three teams that I'm going to give you all work and are pretty solid i'm going to warn you before going into this yes you have to have proper gear sets you have to have these characters with all your gear otherwise you're in for a rude awakening you have to crack 300k which is the first thing you have to do that so realize whatever i share with you here today you again require a decent account it, it will take time i recommend to start grinding towards that as a new milestone but if you can't take care of this these three teams are universal they can be used in any difficulty you choose i'm telling you now they can be used anywhere okay even in higher difficulty they still probably could be used but just know that they can be used anywhere right so use these teams properly wherever you are and wherever you can compete Take care of it there. Like and subscribe, let's jump into it. Let's talk about the teams. So for the first team that I used to clear, it will be Demon Team. This Demon Team was actually pretty last minute prepared because Jazzy doesn't or hasn't built, uh, built a Demon Team, right? So for what it is, Melly's the only character here with proper, uh, fully maxed out stats. These stats are utter garbage on some of them. Uh, the HP have been maxed out a little bit. Attack is super low. Defense is super low, but it doesn't matter. The only character that really needs power is Melly because he will kill. He is going to one shot all of them constantly. So realize that now. I ran HP defense on every single character here, minus Meliodas. Melly was run on attack crit. I don't know why I said attack like that, but attack crit. This wasn't even UR'd to Chandler. It is a basic set. But again, Chandler was absolutely also very helpful due to the fact that he has a counter and that block skill effect can be used very properly. Okay. So, yes, he wasn't per se again with uh, UR gear for him, but it was just HP defense that was already there. The other two do, in fact, have uh, UR gear. Again, he clearly is missing one slot UR'd, but they all are UR gear minus him so again attack uh, crit over here hp defense for these three this will be your first team again uh, card set wasn't even a proper card set i literally hit auto set hp and that's what i got here so that's what i did there but again that's what it is so for the first one let's check it out let's see how i did all right so this is gonna be a fun one to watch i a tad bit a tad bit sped it up uh but when you speed it up their volume gets like pitched yeah so they're gonna sound like alvin and the chipmunks when they attack so keep that in mind but I did that, so this is not a long video. Look at this uh, VOD, all right? It is 30 minutes long, okay? With the pitch, or before the pitch, right, or speed up, it was 45 minutes or 47 minutes, right? Which I do not want to record that or have that long of a video here. I've already had, like, the intro so long being the teams and all that, so this is going to take way too long. So I will just talk over, show a few matches, and explain how I did it for each one. Uh, but basically, how I always did it, and this was universal. It did not matter who I was going against. I would infect with Zeldris. I would then block skill effect with the character that's going to cause the most problem. Mael in this case, Akin in that case because of the uh, infect. And then I used um, counter. That's it. So that was my first turn. Very simple. And then after that, you want to, if Meli got attacked only once, or twice rather, uh, you will attack once with Meli. So you'll use the single uh, target and then AoE right after. Okay. You'll cl uh, clearly see here. There you go. Single target, AoE. Uh, and then just use whatever card uh, you have there. Always lifesteal. If a character is low, you want to make sure to lifesteal first. So before you murder them, like Melly just did, make sure you always lifesteal. Uh, but that is there. Okay, so super simple. That's the first matchup there. Uh, going into the second one here. With Jelly King, I killed King first because it was very easy. So again, infect over there. Block skill effect. And then go for um, the counter. Okay, every single time that's what I did. Uh, that is how you should run this team, or how I ran it, uh, to perfection, if you will. Uh, but here you go, you clearly see that's not an attack card, so now Melly has to use a single target. The AoE is what you want to use that buffed um, form with. So again, you can see here, uh, that's why I put Tarn Link on Chandler also. If you would like to do that, you definitely could. It will help the healing process uh, to keep him alive, so uh, also that's pretty, uh, pretty solid, but there you go. Guild King, pretty simple. Use the AoE here, and they'll mop the entire team up, which is beautiful, okay? Seen that every time. Um, and I think that uh, he has a revive or something like that. That's why he came back up. 
On to the next one here, another one to uh, to take care of. Again, clearly, all I did was this. Uh, same infect, same this. I blocked the skill effect on, uh, what is it, Freya, because Freya is the one that always attacks. So there is that. I put that up. Again, in this case, Chandler killed Freya, actually, because of type advantage. Uh, so keep that in mind, but still, clearly see. Uh, progressing onwards, Melly already has his buff, so I just used Melly's buff card. He needs a little bit of lifesteal, so I'll lifesteal with him. Um, that's, I think that's what I did. So there you go. Did this, did this. And then a weed, uh, which would do a crap ton of damage. But again, realize also that she will prevent you from damage capping constantly. So I do recommend that you kill her first. Not what I did there. Um, but if I was not life stealing, that would have been such a better approach. I just kill her uh, right off the get go so that that's done. Because that is super annoying that, you know, you won't be able to just wipe like that on this team because of DN. Okay. If DN wasn't there, you can then one shot. So if you kill DN first, Keep that in mind, that is the case. Uh, so you can clearly see here, I finished off DN and then left Sigurd up, basically killed Sigurd right after. I always, again, wanted to get off lifesteal as much as I could. I tried to go in with each comp, like with the most lifesteal possible or health possible. Uh, here, blocked the skill effect uh, on Echidna. She was the most uh, problematic character because she has an infect. And when that happens, it ruins the entire flow for me. So that's how I did it. I then also went and again, always I put the infect up. Uh, that's just how I do it. Then I just counter, and that's it. So, very basic turn, again, as always. Um, here, just, I think, again, also realize that these two are going to be super tanky because of Nanashi existing. So, either kill Philo or kill Nanashi first. It's one of those two. Those are always the two you should focus on because uh, the other two are way too tanky. Like, way, way too tanky, right? So, let's see who I went for first. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think Philo was the target. Yeah, so we didn't kill Philo, but we used the other cards to target Philo. There's that. That killed Philo. And I think we killed Merlin here. Echidna. So, again, pretty simple. I would always recommend to either get Nashi out or Philo. Depends. They are the easiest ones to kill. Uh, the other two are so tanky. That's not worth it. Okay? So, just keep that in mind that that is there. Uh, here, I think I just lifestealed because Zelda just needs a little bit of help. Maybe. I, I didn't. Okay, I wasn't thinking, but... Yeah, I should have actually, no, because, yeah, Zelda just got his life still here. So there you go. Pretty simple. Uh, for the final turn here, same thing. Did the entire same procedure. You see the infect. Did the counter. I skill blocked her over here uh, because she's the most annoying on the stage for me. Um, so see, this purify goes up. Didn't work. Didn't do anything because she was, again, skill blocked. Uh, got attacked here. Full countered. All good. Got attacked here. He still survived. Okay, so again, if you do have UR gear for him, he'll be in a better position. Clearly, my gear wasn't UR. Uh, but I have to proc the main attack. Pretty simple. Got that out of the way. And I think this kills the first try. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Very simple. All right. Last but not least, or second. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. But yes, got us team over here. This is probably the tankiest and the most fun team out there uh, for this activity. Because uh, Mayo's damage is pretty nice to see. Uh, and the cleanse over here is really cool. So overall, pretty solid. Uh, Grace, again, or whatever you do for association, does not matter. Use whatever you have uh, that can help you crack 300k. A card set doesn't also matter. I basically ran like this, and that's how I did it. So do it that way. Uh, for the gear, this is a little bit more of an important one, so make sure to watch. Attack crit, HP defense, HP defense, HP defense, okay? Again, yes, uh, both these two do not have fully UR gear, but they did crack their NK, and they were able to uh, be used properly uh, to do everything. I never really had a problem with this team, uh, like where you'd accidentally lose or whatever, but I do recommend that you use uh, the cleanses properly and save them for a right time uh, to use, but that's really it. So easy team here. That's the gear set. Card set's pretty simple, and then the associations are up to you. But yeah, that's the final one or second one. Depends on how I edit it. All right, but next up, we have Goddess Team. This was the other team that I uh, that I used uh, for the second one. Overall, also the better team. How I did this one is I always buff with Margaret first because I can first take less damage next turn, and it does help. Uh, and then I attacked always either Sariel or Ludo. I prefer to kill Ludo because that pr uh, protect is annoying sometimes. So killing Ludo is the most recommended thing I could tell you, all right? The most recommended thing is to kill Ludo. Got it? Uh, get rid of that Protect because it's going to be super annoying. All right, attack increase. Now, my yell card. And then he always went for Tarm, but Tarm full heals or heals back. So it's not a problem, but do keep in mind that you may have to lifesteal a lot with Tarm. 
Uh, but that's all relative to how your uh, thing goes, how he attacks for you, right? But did this. My goal was to kill Mayel first, um, but that AoE took out Sariel. Mayel was taken out by this. And I think Tarmiel also got taken out like right away with Liz. Yeah, there you go. So pretty simple. That's this turn done. Over here, again, same procedure. So first thing I went, I killed Sigurd. Again, there is damage cap, so it doesn't really help me. I buff first, I AoE, and then a single target. That is how it goes. Uh, that's my attack procedure every time. Depends on who you want to target. For the Philo stage, I think I did either Nanashi or Philo. That's how I always did it. For this stage, can't really do much because there is a damage cap. Uh, so realize that now. Freya also hits pretty hard, so be prepared for that to be a, a case. You could buff with Margaret, buff with uh, Tarmiel to get a little bit more additional uh, damage reduction, and then just use AoE for... Uh, Mayo, you could do that too, but I did this over here, which I think perfectly ki perfectly kills. I think. Let's see. Did I mess this up? Yeah, that kills 100%, right? Yeah. All right. So we got her out of the way because the damage cap. You saw I only did 108, but here with that damage cap removed, 318. So she is a problem. Uh, get her out the way as fast as you possibly can. I think over here I just went in again full heal uh, for Tarmiel because he needed it. I believe that's what I did. Let's see. It took me a second here to do it. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll try to heal with Tarmiel, and then I just kill with Elizabeth. So pretty simple turn. Also, uh, on to the next one here. I think I again did the same thing. Same attacks I always recommend. Here I targeted Escanor, which arguably could be a bad decision due to the fact that he has uh, overpower, and when his uh, health is low, he does an insane amount of damage. So keep that in mind. But I wanted him out of the park first uh, because he will damage me at the end. There, he has max stacks, okay? So that's a problem. Uh, hence why I always took him out first. But it's all relative, right? So it's, it's going to be different for all of us on how we want to attack or do whatever. But because I wanted to make sure, because look at the damage he did, right? I need to full heal that. So I wanted to make sure he's out the park first. Uh, and then I could attack everyone else uh, subsequently, right? So... There's that. I would take out uh, either Ludo here or Liz. I usually do Liz, but auto target did that. Uh, again, pretty simple stage. I don't think you need to see the rest of it. I just attacked, full healed whatever I need to. Onto this stage. So this is a, this is a, a hard one for a lot of people. I Margaret buffed and I attacked Philo. Okay, I can't kill the other two, but I can kill Philo. So I could also kill Danashi. It depends on who you want to go for. Uh, just I went for Philo. Doesn't really matter. Yes, Nanashi's basic stats are still helping out the other two, uh, and his relic and all that, but it was fine. So, that's how I did it. But again, it's either uh, Nanashi or Philo, who you want to go for. You can see here, when it was with Chandler, it didn't do too much uh, because of that entire block skill effect. But, for what it is, pretty low damage, I would say, in comparison. If you had an extra Margaret buff, you would use it now to cleanse all that. So, it depends on this stage if you want to wait and cleanse afterwards. Um, you could, so that is an option. Here, I think that I went uh, and attacked. All right, so I made a mistake there. Don't do that. You're, you're supposed to attack her. It's just, yeah, one shot. I left her one health. You should have attacked uh, Nanashi there. I took unnecessary damage, but went to lifesteal for that. Made sure he's out the park. Uh, and then I took on Merlin. So that's how I did it on this stage. But yes, I made a mistake. All right, you should kill Philo. You should kill Nanashi and then focus these two. Unless you can guarantee a kill. You need a lot of damage to do that, alright? A lot of damage. So, keep that in mind. Uh, here, I mainly wanted to uh, heal him. But clearly, I had no cards for him. So, that wouldn't work. Uh, but I did get lifesteal for Elizabeth. And then I just ulted uh, for my elf, which is pretty simple. Next stage, I, again, did the same thing. Here, I targeted her because she's always, for some reason, the problem for me. Uh, so, I took her out. Then, it just, again, it happened normally a very easy stage i don't think you really need help on this one uh, and that's basically all the runs so there's that but that's the last team over here or second team over here uh for goddess for the second or third team i don't know which one i put in this video so this may be the third one uh but this we do have Escanor, we do have dn we do have king we do have uh bond for the fir uh, fourth slot you can replace this with anybody you want. You can do Merlin for those debuffs, which would be pretty huge because you're going to rely on AoE a little bit because uh, King is going to continuously uh, use that AoE for that. But again, I, pre I prefer Bon uh, for the reason that he can really guarantee a kill similar to Escanor. So I did like running Bon as the fourth, uh, but he is really kind of, 
he can get exchanged for anybody. Doesn't really matter. Just have a fourth DPS. So that's there. But this team is re uh, really good. Uh, running her taunt, then using his um, shield card will be perfect. I didn't have his relic, I believe, when I recorded this. So I do recommend. Uh, I don't think I have his relic. Yeah, I don't. So if you have his relic, it makes it way freaking easier because you're getting more shield and doing more damage after the shield. So again, keep that in mind. This is a great team. Uh, and again, for graces, people are gonna ask me, and I didn't also go over that for goddess team. It doesn't matter. Just make sure DN has Tarm Link. Make sure he has Sariel Link. These two just do whatever, okay? It's obviously just the similar graces you always run. So Tarmiel Link, uh, Sariel Link, that's basically it. For goddess team, there is no links that I use. I just use regular links, okay? For the gear over here, I will show you that also. Uh, if we were to go over here, it is attack crit, it is HP defense, it is attack crit, and it is attack crit. That has not been ur per bond, but still pretty good. So I do recommend this is a team you do go for. But now onto the Sins team that I had uh, that I had originally mentioned. I've for, I've recorded all these uh, back to back. I am out of uh, words because damn, it's been a 20 minute recording already on just this this is not even counting the other part so this video is gonna be way too long but over here how i did it every time i would throw up dn's stance i would use king's card and then i'll use an escalator card that's how i did it every time okay it will provide you the most survivability and it will give you a little bit more time to react uh, to what they have to do i do recommend that it matters who you attack because you want to make sure the damage dealer is always dead Whoever that is, that's the problem, all right? In that case, with Philo's team, I would say get Philo or Nanashi out. Either one up front, so they're gone. Try on Mayel's side to take out, if it's uh, Ludo, green Ludo there, take out Ludo. If it's Mayel, just try to take out Mayel. Uh, always realize that you have to use with this team uh, discretion properly, all right? Decide who you think the biggest threat is and go for the biggest threat, all right? So this one I won't, per se, uh, skip around too much. I'll let you watch it all thoroughly. Uh, because there are problems, all right? Some some characters will deal a lot of damage, all right? Yes, King's Shield exists. If you had his Relic, he'll get way more Shield uh, and make your characters much stronger. But due to the fact that I don't have it, I could have crafted it, definitely. Made it a lot easier, but hey, I made it extra free to play for you, if you will. If you A little bit extra free to play, right? But with it, uh, here we have three Escort Fingers. So we know what we're doing. Uh, for the stage, instead of straight up fingering somebody, right, right off the bat, I just did double uh, shield, right? And you can clearly see that did help out a bit uh, to where I took less damage on both of the attacks there. Uh, so we didn't really get infected, right? You see DN's shield still existing. I think I just did triple finger. I believe that's what I did here. Let me see. I, I think that's what I did. Okay, let's see. I didn't do that. I did double. All right, so there you go. Attacked uh, Philo there, then went for the uh, the full set on Escanor. Didn't kill with that first one, so had to do a, a second one. There you go. Not bad. It did some uh, crazy damage there. Uh, no shield this time for King, clearly, because we didn't get a King card. We will take some uh, some damage here from Merlin's thing. Let's see. It was a Kidna this time, so there you go. Bit, uh, bit of damage from a Kidna there. I think we target... We could, again, I would recommend... For some reason, I didn't target Nanashi twice. I would recommend you target Nanashi. You see how much uh, stats are there, so it's hard, hard to kill some of those characters. So I do recommend you take Nanashi out first. That is way better of a of a thing. All right. So there you go. Nanashi attack twice. Took a little bit of damage from Merlin here, but we do have Escanor's legendary uh, death finger, if you will. So nothing to worry about too much. We also have King's shield coming up here uh, to give us a little bit of additional protection. So let's do this. Pretty simple. There you go. He did survive by a little bit, so we had to use the finger again. Then we uh, got these two low. Oh, a kid had died, actually. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But Merlin can do too much here, so a little bit of damage, but nothing too uh, too crazy. And then I think I just life stilled with... Yeah, so King, Deanne, and then ult. So very simple stage, pretty easy, I would say, if you know what you're doing. So just, yeah, follow properly on the guide i always recommend kill nanashi or philo first uh the stats will drop it'll be a lot easier of a clear uh because merlin will tank merlin will tank a lot of the hits all right so i went afk for a little bit there but continuing onwards simply i always do the same thing this this and then whatever card for uh okay so i did double shield because i was more scared 
on this team if I get too much damage from Eskimo. So, did a little bit differently here. So again, if you want to follow with that, you definitely could. Uh, I was just scared that Eskimo would shred me, but I don't think he even cracked the shield. Yeah, he didn't crack the shield. Here he cracks the shield, but the others are still fine. And here, barely cracks. So that's why I did it. Uh, again, you could follow with that. I think I also just full kill Eskimo here. Let's see. I think I AoE. I took a second to decide. I remember this exactly. Yeah, I AoE. But, yeah. So I don't think I actually killed anybody. I did. I killed just Ludo, okay? Uh, Liz survived by just a little bit. Eskimo was dead, but still in that form. Didn't take too much damage here. I wanted to just triple AoE because I wanted Eskimo dead. And I felt that I could kill regardless of anything. So there's this. Pretty basic. There's this. Uh, but yeah, I didn't kill the uh, other two here. Okay, I did. I left Liz alive, but killed Melly and Eskinor. That's done. Uh, Liz isn't really too much of a threat, so we'll just forward this up here. Sorry, Liz. This is now the Rainrock team. Over here, there's nothing to worry about. Honestly, your team will tank, okay? Only Freya can really do too much, um, but it was very straightforward. The team that I lose the least to is Rainrock team across every single thing. Uh, when I was testing on JP2, Rag team was the easiest, so... Just make sure you target uh, the end there, which is DN, and you're good to go. So, very basic over here. She tanks it, 100% tanks it because of red, and there you go. Bond is a little bit low, but everything's fine. Uh, we just full send, full send three times. Yeah, this was the attack, but it perfectly does okay. Again, it is damage cap, so realize that this could have done so much more, but it didn't matter to me. It was just dead, 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 and then attacked over here on Sigurd dead and then i think i kill i didn't kill dn a little bit left but very simple uh turn here i think i also life stood with bond at the end because i needed it dn's attack patience crazy attacked there for a little bit look at that but here we go i think i used bond's cards yep to heal bond and that's pretty much it for right team over here uh i i'd still say it's very straightforward it really is okay even though there's no mark concentration he still did a bad number but it's all good. It's all good, Bond. You'll get buffed soon. You'll get buffed soon. Here. Uh, what we do is... Same thing. Here, again, because my is a little bit more of a tougher opponent. I double shielded. Uh, just to make sure. It also will do a little bit of damage over here. Sorry, Elf. So you can clearly see that. Very, again, straightforward um, run. There are replacements to teams. There are. You definitely could. But I think that the easiest ones... And I don't want to, like, offer a replacement. Because these are the best. These really are the best teams. Uh, you could try full unknown team. I've seen people win with that. Uh, Nashi, um, Merlin, Echidna, and Philo. The same team just run back on uh, your side. I've seen people do that, but the one that I had the best like runs with are these three, okay? They're just the best. Demon team is just the best. Goddess team is just the best. And then Full Sins team just has so much survivability that it is just good. So, I did Full Send over here on Sariel. I personally would have went for... Um, green ludo but that's just how i did it he doesn't have a protect here so it at least saves me but that protect is super annoying sometimes all right so do keep it in mind that i would always kill him because he will mess up some of your attacks and if he you know puts up the protect and you can't crack that shield king is going to do so little damage that he can't even pull uh, a big shield for you right so keep that in mind also here you clearly see i'm going for uh that uh that green ludo because i do hate him constantly he's super annoying but um yeah I used Bond's card for some reason. Yeah, I don't want to skill block Eskinar. So I don't want to skill block Eskinar, so I didn't want to like go for massive AoEs. Did this, applied the mark of concentration. Um, pretty uh, simple turn also. But I think only my ill attacks and doesn't even do too much damage. Yeah, he attacks Bond. Bond's fine, he'll tank that a little bit. Um, and then we'll win here with this, this, and that'll kill. So pretty simple uh, overall turns. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. So, there's that. And then, go for Tormiel. I'll let the just video play out so you at least see it. But there are alternatives. There are. I, I would say, just go with what I gave you. Okay? If you can't formulate those teams, I wouldn't even try it at that point. Uh, most of us have Demon Team built, right? We, we use that in PvP. A lot of us have Goddess Team built, right? We do. Uh, if we don't, again, you could try running Unknown Team. That's another team that you can try running. Uh, you could try running some sort of team that it's just, you need survivability. You need it. Uh, so a variation of Sin's team 
has to occur, okay? Escanor could maybe get swapped out there. There's things you could do, but I think that it's perfection of what it is. So yeah, I would stick with what I gave you, but it is fully up to you on what you want to run. So try it out, see how it goes for you per se. But that's just my uh, Ted says on everything. Hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out. Enjoy this bit for me. That has been a full little hero arena guide uh, to the best of my ability. All right. So there you go.